Chris Hoffman caught up with a few more people from this area as they prepare for yet another storm to go through. The Pittsburghers we spoke with are hoping for the best as Hurricane Milton comes barreling towards the Florida Gulf Coast, but they are preparing for the worst case scenario. For some Pittsburgh natives, it's the second hurricane in just a few weeks. Jeffrey Hickman owns a bar in Clearwater Beach. He lost his home, car, and business in Hurricane Helene. It's uh, hard to play victim when it happened to so many other people. This time he's not taking any chances and evacuated. He was looking for flights and found the last seat on a flight and came back home to stay with family. It felt so good to evacuate the state of Florida, to evacuate Tampa and Clearwater Beach and uh, make it to, to real safety right up here in up here in Pittsburgh. Churchill's Anthony Roman took the last flight out of Fort Myers before the airport closed. We got on the flight and they said the airport's shutting down as soon as we take off, so we got out in the lick of time. We caught up with him as he was cleaning up his home two years ago after Hurricane Ian. Even after moving further inland, he wasn't taking a chance with Milton. I saw this one was going to be bad. When, when they had the mandatory evacuations, I knew it was going to be bad. North Braddock resident Sandy Culligan owns a condo in Sarasota. While the commercial area got pounded by Helene, her condo avoided too much damage. This time, there is more concern. Already, power companies are telling people to expect outages. We might not be able to communicate with you because all our power is going to be out. So we're just warning you to stay safe. And while she's glad to be away from the path of the storm, she fears for some of her condo neighbors who live in Florida permanently. My main concern is about, you know, the people that are living there. Um, it's just, it's heartbreaking. When I asked everyone we spoke with what will be needed after this storm, they all said try to find ways to donate, try to find ways to offer a helping hand to people that will be impacted by this. On the North Shore, Chris Hoffman, KDKA-TV News.